In this video, we're taking these ordinary ingredients and turning it into the best tomato soup you'll ever have. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we are making my all-time favorite soup. It's roasted tomato and red pepper soup. Your house will smell amazing making this soup. And it's so good, full of fiber, nutrients. I actually call it health in a bowl. And it just takes a few steps. Let's get started. The first step in this soup is to preheat your oven. I've got mine ready to go on 400. I'm gonna start with my onion and garlic. I like to cut my onion and garlic on a hard board that is not wooden because garlic and onion just give off really strong aromas and that can soak into your wood board, so I like to keep them separate. All right, onion. Now we're gonna roast everything and then blend it up so we don't have to be particular about how we're cutting everything. I'm just going to quarter these onions and then two sheet trays and we'll spread it out. Now it's time for garlic. We need eight garlic cloves. I will break these down. Give it a little whop with my knife, peel it off, and we'll be good to go. I've broken down all the garlic and you can throw it right onto your sheet trays whole because we are roasting it and then blending it so we don't have to worry about chopping. Now we can work on our other ingredients. Let's go to the red bell pepper. What I like about the bell pepper in this soup is it adds such a nice sweetness and it gives it a depth of flavor that just, just tomato wouldn't give. All right, one bell pepper. I've just sliced it into some strips here. We don't have to be careful about size. Tossing it onto the sheet tray. Next up is carrots. Do is trim the ends. Now carrots are a thick, pretty fibrous vegetable, so we have to cut these smaller than the bell pepper. Right in there. And there's a few ways. That's one way you can do chunks like this. You can also cut along the length. You wanna make sure you have that flat surface, then you can really run your knife through. So again, give a good hold, push down. Jeez, knife skills are not great on this one. Half to this tray. Half to this tray, let's get these little bits up. There we go. Now it's time for tomatoes. Here's what we're doing. We're cutting them in half. We want to use a spoon and scoop out that little bit of flesh and the seeds because we don't want that in our soup. It just doesn't give the best texture. So scoop it out. You don't have to be super precise, best you can. Discard this part. I have my compost bin right here, so I'm gonna dump it in there. And then evenly distribute the tomato halves onto your sheet tray. I'm gonna keep going with the rest of our tomatoes. There we go. Okay, now we evenly distribute them onto our sheet trays here. We'll season it, throw it in the oven to roast. Now it's time to season up our veggies and get them roasting. We want two tablespoons of olive oil, so one tablespoon per sheet tray. And you could put all this on one sheet tray, which I've done before, but sometimes that really, depending on how large your sheet tray is, it overcrowds the pan and they start to steam instead of roast. And roasting brings out the natural sugars in pretty much anything, but in this case, in our veggies. So there we go. One tablespoon of olive oil here, one there, one balsamic there, one balsamic here. Go. Now it's salt and pepper. Just put a nice fresh ground pepper over top. And these seasonings just help to bring out and enhance the flavors. A teaspoon of salt on each, and then use your hands, mix everything up. I'm gonna break up this onion a little bit so it's not in one big chunk. You know, onion has layers, so we're just peeling the layers apart. That way everything roasts evenly. Okay, one of the key steps, once you have it all mixed up, is to turn 
the tomato halves so the skin side is up. That's how I like to start the roasting. Okay. Oh, flip these guys and then it's into the oven. It's time to roast them. Into the oven at 400 degrees. One tray, two trays. They are going to roast for 45 to 50 minutes. But you wanna check them and give everything a stir halfway, so around 25 minutes. It's been 25 minutes, now it's time to stir and rotate our trays. The smell, okay. So you can see the garlic, ooh, it's starting to get soft. All the veggies are starting to get soft, getting a tiny bit of char. Definitely needs another at least 20 minutes. And at this point, you don't need to worry about which way the tomatoes are facing because they're really breaking down. So just give everything a nice stir, even it back out, and repeat with your other tray. Our veggies have roasted, they look so good. Now we're moving on to the simmering step. But first, I'm giving you a pro tip. I like to take a little stock and deglaze our sheet tray and it helps loosen up those yummy Mm, char bits, and it helps us get everything off the pan when we're ready to put it into the pot. Next, we'll put all our ingredients into the pot, let it simmer and all the ingredients melt together. It's gonna be so yummy. Start with the rest of the olive oil. So two more tablespoons of olive oil goes into a large pot. And then we are adding tomato paste, and it helps to just amp up the tomato flavor of the soup. I have made it without tomato paste, mainly because I forgot to buy it at the store, and it's still really yummy. But I like to add it because it just, it has a really intense tomato flavor. Tomato paste in, and you just want to stir it around so the olive oil and the tomato paste start to mix together. This just goes for a second. Then we add our lovely roasted veggies. Now we add in these lovely roasted veggies and you want to get all the juice that's on the tray. Remember, we season this with olive oil and balsamic. Okay, let's get all this in there. And we put some stock on here to help loosen up the char bits on our sheet tray. I like to give it a good scrape down and we'll go on to the next sheet tray. Tray number two. The smell of this soup, it's just comforting and inviting. It's one of those smells when my kids come home from school and I have this soup bubbling away, they know exactly what it is and they all love it. Now we add in our stock. I have vegetable stock, which makes this dish vegetarian. If you prefer chicken stock, you can certainly add that in here. And it's a whole quart. And then we will bring this up to a boil and lower the heat to simmer for just 20 minutes. Our soup has been simmering, now it's time to blend it up. I'm gonna take a big ladle and ladle into my blender. You only wanna fill it a third full, no more than that, because it's really hot, right? You can see that steam. Oh and the smell. But if you fill it too full, it's gonna explode. So let's not do that. Lid on, dish towel over top. Hot soup, steam, it's gonna create some pressure. The dish towel saves you from making a giant mess. So let's go. Woo, more steam coming out, so take care there. Now you wanna pour this into a separate bowl. So I've got a bowl right here. We'll pour our pureed soup into that, and then we blend up the rest of the soup. And then we're gonna transfer it back to this pot to keep it warm. So I like to do a scrape down so that any little chunks come right out. Dish towel and go. Okay. Ooh, look at the steam. So this batch we can pour right back into our pot. So it's nicely pureed. Give it a little scrape down. We want all the deliciousness in here. Mm. 
Blender goes to the side. It's roasted veggies, some stock, and some tomato paste it makes this glorious soup, which is high in potassium from the tomatoes. It's high in vitamin A, high in vitamin C. It's got some plant protein in here. So good. Now we're gonna heat it back up, taste it, and adjust seasonings as we see fit. Now it's time to taste test. Mm. Oh my goodness, it's so comforting and creamy without being creamy. This soup is loaded with fiber. There's eight grams of fiber per serving. This will serve about six, and it really fills you up. That fiber does the job. So you might think, it's not a lot, and then you eat it, you're gonna feel really full, really satisfied. Now is the best part. We get to eat my absolute favorite soup. I like to serve it in mugs, it makes it kind of fun. Let's taste. Warm, comforting, it blows any other tomato soup out of the water. I also, Highly recommend you serve it with grilled cheese on sourdough bread. Dip it in there. What could be better? I hope you enjoy this video of my absolute favorite soup, the best tomato soup out there. If you like this recipe, hit the like button below. Don't forget to subscribe so you can follow along for more recipes and nutrition tips, and hit the bell so you can be notified when I release new videos. Bon appetit!